Hey, go. Was he fun for a black here? See, I got it out. Puffing a bit, it was hard work. Um, the camera says it only took 20 minutes, felt more like a bloody hour. Um, I'll uh, wash your roots off and then I'll show you the process to go through cleaning it up and cutting the root ball off and shortening some of these branches and choosing the uh, direction that I want the tree to go. So, yeah, I'll just show you the whole tree. 
Yeah, pretty naked. Only four years old, believe it or not. Yeah. Four years old, so... It's the way to grow them, I reckon. I don't know, I reckon a good... One year in the ground is nearly like ten years in a pot. That's the way to do it, I reckon, except you can't really control the direction. you just got to find a direction once you dig it up. No worries. I'll get to cleaning off all the dirt. Okay, so I was going to keep filming outside, but um, the weather got a bit windy, so I don't have a mic on this thing. Uh, wind filter for the mic, so... As you can see, this thing's bloody massive, and by the time I dug it out, I was surprised. It's only four years, believe it or not, so... Must have been bloody happy where it was. Um, I recommend, if you want to grow a tree really quick, whack it in the ground. Had a massive amount of roots on the bottom. I cut a lot off, but I'm going to cut some more off just to show you, but... Yeah, look at all those massive roots under there. This thing's huge. I probably should have got it out of... Should have got it out of the ground last year, I reckon. Ah oh, well, live and learn. Okay, so I'm going to chop some stuff off, shorten it, try and work out where I want the tree to be, in front of the tree. I'll just give it a bit of a spin. A bit of a spin for you. I'm thinking this would be the back here somewhere. Um, my thoughts, front of the tree would be around here somewhere. But I'll just have to suss that out and do a bit of cutting and yeah, I might make it into a I might make it into a multi trunk or something, see how we go. Either that or I could cut it back to just one trunk and just grow branches out. Stay there, yep. Okay, first job I'm going to do is reduce some of these roots. I want to be able to fit it into a smaller pot because if I don't get it into a smaller pot, it start costing a lot of money. So I'm going to chop it back pretty hard here. Might be a bit drastic, but like I've said before, not a lot of effort gone into this tree yet, apart from watering it in the ground, which is on drippers anyway, so if it dies, not much lost, so it's better off doing it now. Plus it'll look more powerful in a smaller pot anyway. Oh, so big. Okay, so I'm going to get drastic on some of these roots to get them into a smaller pot. Uh, you can probably see we've got a crossing one here, we won't be wanting that one, so... Take that one off. It's gone. Left a bit of a mark in that root, but that's alright. Chop that one off. Some of these around the back here a fair bit too. If I want to get in a smaller pot, I just got to do it. <laughs>
very big tree. I mean, four years in the ground, I can't believe it. it surprised me, really. back a bit probably leave that one there drop this one back I'll have to bury it fairly deep in the pot for the first year just to get some of these to hopefully shoot out roots I think it will be in a deciduous tree we'll just have to wait and see you don't see an update, well, I guess I killed it. It'll probably do for that for now. I'll um, just decide what I want to do with the top. Okay, so after looking this Looking at this for a bit, I've decided with all these trunks so straight and boring because I just let it grow straight, straight up. Um, I'm going to chop three branches off from the back. Maybe you can see them. I'm going to chop all of those three branches off to create more taper. When you're designing a tree, you've always got to think about taper. So. They'll be cut off, and I've also decided I'm going to cut this one here off the side. So all you'll be left with is that one as a first branch. And this one I'll cut really short, so... I'll get and do that. I'll do it off camera because it's going to take too long. Too much sweat. I don't have a chainsaw, it's gone blunt, so I'm going to have to do it by hand. Okay, as you can see, we got rid of a fair bit of wood off the top. Um, took a fair bit of effort with that saw, I tell you. Um, plan now. I did leave a bit more on some of these shoots on the side than I thought I was going to, because I think it adds to the interest a bit. There's reasonable taper now. When If a shoot comes out here somewhere, I'll carve it out and give it a bit more taper as well. Same with shoot coming out here and out here I'll taper it off a bit um, managed to get a bit of a bend on that one which was coming straight up here but it did did release a bit of a crack there but I think it's going to be alright um, I think it was mainly the heartwood cracking um, I'll just show you the back of the tree where I cut that big cut so my plan for the future of that is I'll just carve it out and create some interest in there because that's a very big cut but I'm not going to waste my time doing it now as um, I'll see whether the tree survives first. I think it will. There's still a few feeder roots but not many. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. You can see the growth rings almost. I'd say only one year, two years, maybe three, maybe in there, and then this fourth year, maybe. Another here, one, two, three, maybe fourth year. So yeah, it's not very old. Amazing how quick they can grow. Even surprised me, that one. Yeah, so I'll pot it up, and then I'll just do a quick shove, pot, shove it, pot it up. Front probably be around there somewhere. I think. There's a bit of, you probably can't tell very well from here, but there's actually a bit of interest in the front here. Uh, yeah, so, still quite heavy. I'm hoping I can get it into a, into a um, foam fruit and veg box, because if I can get it into that, then the pot that'll be needed later on won't be quite so bad. Yeah, so I'll get that potted up and get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I've got this thing potted up. Um, 
It's got a lot of taper, I think you'd agree. It's looking pretty good. Pretty hopeful that it'll turn into something decent one day. I'll just let it grow out now and hope it turns into something in the future. Just give it a quick spin. I managed to get it into this foam box, which is good, otherwise bonsai pots are bloody expensive. Even now, I think a pot for something like this would be around 100 bucks. But if I went much bigger than that, they'd get deer pretty quick, it'd be like 300 bucks. So, pretty happy with getting it into there. Um, I'll just give you a bit of a, a, a close-up. So I've mi the mix that I put it in is a um, vermiculite, potting mix and cocoa peat all mixed together, about a third each. Seems to be fairly well draining. I think the cocoa peat's good for the roots as well and the vermiculite lets a lot of air and stuff in there so that's pretty good. I'll put a bit of white glue on where I've cracked it here. A bit of wood glue so that'll seal it off so... I think that'll be fine. It wasn't much of a crack anyway. Um, yeah, that's about all I've got to say about it. It's hopefully, it'll grow and recover. I'll do some carving later on if it does. In the meantime, pretty happy. It's been a fair bit of work. I reckon digging it out was only 20 minutes, but everything else is, I reckon, nearly three hours all up to get it to this stage. But even with that, you know, if it dies now, it's only, well, including digging it, planting it as a stick. When I did plant it as a stick, it was probably only the size of that stick I'm holding now. It's amazing, four years. Um, yeah, so probably four hours work all up for this tree, so I hope it survives, because I think it's got some potential in the future. No worries. Thanks for watching, Aussie Bonsai Bloke. Always have fun with your bonsai. Catch you later.